Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel once again, and welcome back to my kitchen once again. Christmas 2019, I decided to make one of the worst recipes on the internet because I guess I was feeling particularly festive that year. Obviously everybody's feeling particularly festive 2020, so I decided why not ring in the new year with another one of the worst recipes on the internet. Today we're going to be trying King Cobra JFS's Sushi bacon cheeseburger. All right, so we're we got all the good stuff here. We got the bacon It's reduced sodium because uh, I want to live until the Final Fantasy 7 remake is finished We've got frozen Berg. We got Monterey Jack with jalapeno peppers. I think he uses Swiss on the actual burger, but you know uh, creative liberties can be taken. Speaking of creative liberties, the, uh, the person that made this sushi seems to have taken creative liberties with sushi because I think you're supposed to put the tempura stuff inside the sushi, not on top. I don't know what fucking whitey made this. King Cobra uses, like, frozen microwaved sushi, which sounds utterly fucking disgusting, but, uh, in its place, since I can't find frozen sushi, I decided to order and then refrigerate sushi overnight so this will be like next day leftover sushi finally we got the texas toast because king cobra refuses to make a burger with buns uh toast i guess just thick thick old bread thick square slices of bread it's kind of like wendy's burgers but in reverse by our powers combined it's 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 captain food poisoning yay on a slightly unrelated note here's a box that's just been sitting on my uh table for the last like three months filled with weird korean and japanese like candies and stuff we even got the we even got the little tiny burger kit that uh, Brutal Moose made. Yeah, I'm not fucking making that. Um, yeah, I was gonna make a video eating these, but most of them were just like, fine. I had like no reaction through the entire thing. It, it, there was no, uh, yeah, so. I don't know, let me know if you want me to eat these fucking weird foods. I ice, there's ice. A lot of weird stuff, I don't know. So I guess the first thing we probably want to do here is fry this this bacon. Uh, I think that's like the first step. You fry up the bacon and then you cook the burger in the bacon grease. Sadly, my uh, pan is pretty clean. It's like mostly clean. I know King Cobra cooks in a pan that he hasn't washed in seven months because apparently it helps make the taste better or something. I'm really not sure. Uh, but, you know, it's fine. It's, uh, it's a similar type of pan, so hopefully we'll get the same kind of vibe. Maybe I'll spit on it while I'm cooking, just to, just to increase the hate. Let's get this, let's get this going. I love buying reduced sodium bacon, and then, like, 90% of the fucking bacon is just fat. Gunga says hello! Frozen burgers always fill me with such anxiety. What am I looking at? This is like the surface of Mars. It's like a magic eye painting. This is not food. Okay, the bacon has finished. It is now time to add the disgusting frozen patty. Uh-oh, boys, more creative liberties. We got Worcestershire sauce. Oh, whoa! Oh! Okay, I've now been splashed with horrible boiling fucking oil, but the burger has been flipped. Uh, Jesus Christ, that actually didn't hurt that bad. I think I liked it, ooh. Uh, but boy, do I need to clean up later. Uh, report back soon. Now, yes, the burger looks charred to bits, but you know, I'm pretty sure that's the way his looked too, so it should be fine. Normally during this part, after flipping, I would like add the cheese now and let it melt in the pan, but he likes to microwave his for fucking whatever reason. He's trying to get this shot good. And fuck. Well, it looks like you can't see the top half of my face unless I scrunch down real low like. But uh, the important thing is you can witness the construction of this fine abomination that we're going to be building. So King Cobra is a little bit of a pleb, so he wouldn't do this with his own sushi bacon cheeseburger. But we're going to big this bad boy up. We've added some of the spicy mayo spread out across the Texas toast. We're giving this the best possible chances of this being at least acceptable. So next we add 
the patty. Yes, this looks more like a hockey puck than an actual edible thing, but don't worry, none of this is gonna be edible, so it's fine. Crispy bacon going next. Couple slices here. Really, it's a waste of good crispy bacon. Now, from what I remember, the next thing that he adds is the cheese, so, um, add that on here. Just press it down, really squash it, it's fine. Oh yeah, oh yeah, cheese in diamond formation. Again, we're giving this the best possible chance of being good, we've gotta add diamond cheese, that's important. All right, boys, it's time to commit cardinal sins. This is truly some of the worst sushi I've ever seen. There's like no shape to it, it's all rice. There's fucking mango in here. What the fuck kind of California nonsense is this? Ugh. Ugh. Now we gotta add the tempura shrimp here, which I guess they just decided not to put in the actual sushi. Stack that. That's fine, just put that there. In fact, you know, put that, put that like right there so I know that I'll eat it. Right in the fucking corner. Oh no, oh, oh, we lost, oh, we lost a sushi, guys. We lost a sushi. God, this thing does not want to stay constructed. There's just too much shit on here now. We gotta like squish this shit down so it actually fits. Otherwise, this isn't gonna happen. I've got three sushis on there. That's like the best I can do. Next, we must spread the wasabi. I really hate that I have to say this. A little more, a little extra wasabi. Gotta have some kick to it, you know? You wanna know you're alive while you're eating your sushi bacon cheeseburger. Okay, and with this, the sin is completed. I have to go pop this fucker in the microwave and uh, we're about to see hell. We're about to witness hell. Oh God, oh, oh, I feel my hopes and dreams dying. Oh, Jesus. This isn't acceptable. This is not acceptable. You know, on the one hand, I'm gonna have to eat this soon, but on the other hand, at least it's almost over. Wait a second, I don't have two hands. Fuck! Oh, here it is. It's all constructed. It's all done. It's looking fucking terrible. It's it's kind of looking like debris. It's kind of looking like a bomb happened and there's debris. This is this is more or less the culinary equivalent of finding your father in bed with your sister. Well, here we all are, bored into the struggle to come so far but end up eating a sushi bacon cheeseburger. I don't have any final thoughts. Ah, oh, the bottom is so fucking wet. Of course it is, I put it in the microwave. This thing is soggy and dry at the same time. There's just too much. You can't, you can't do rice and bread. Grab it from this end so I get a bite of the bacon and oh, look at the nice melty tempura shrimp and cheese. Here's to a great 2021. Can't wait for them to discover super raids next. I can't stop chewing it. Okay, we just gotta swallow it. Pretend you work for Joe Biden. They gotta be real, it's really not that bad. Yeah, I'm kinda stumped. I guess it's because I like bacon cheeseburgers and that's like overriding it. I don't taste any wasabi. I just taste like rice and fish because there was shrimp in that bite. Obviously I taste beef and cheese and bacon as well, but it's like, mostly it's fine. And then you remember what you're eating and you're like, and, the, and, and then, it, then the vom starts to happen. I'm going for a round two. Right at the center here. You gotta get out of the center. Yeah, I mean, it's not half bad, honestly. It's mostly just a bacon cheeseburger, but like, there's a little bit of a sushi flavor. Really the worst part is realizing what it is you're eating. I'm not going to eat this entire thing because I'm 
not particularly hungry. But yeah, I think that'll serve as conclusive proof that King Cobra JFS is actually a complete genius. I guess next I have to make one of his weird peanut butter Cheetos concoctions. Anyways, thank you everybody for watching this horrible culinary tragedy turned somehow okay. I, I don't know how this turned okay. I feel like I almost need to do a fucking second attempt because this is, uh, this shouldn't be acceptable. This was so disgusting to look at and it tastes fine. My fucking stomach's doing flips. Anyways, that'll about do it for uh, the video. Uh, welcome to 2021. You know what? Mistakes turned into miracles. Maybe this is a good sign for the year. The rest of the year might be even better. I went in so cynical and jaded and it wound up being kinda okay as long as you overlook what it is that's actually happening. Uh, so, I mean, I don't know, fortune telling and shitty food. Who knows? Maybe I have that gift. We'll see. Time will tell. I really think the party cheese salad set the tone for 2020 last, last time. So hopefully this sets the tone for next year. Anyhow, this has been Deadwing Dork and I have to go get, uh, hammered. Hey, thanks for watching all the way to the end, and big thanks as usual to my $20 and up Patreon friends, Rick Fastley, Brent Thornton, Zach Carter, Spooky Skeleton, Ian Terpenning, Delta, Mairead McCory, Taylor Bailey, Some Jagass, A Little Tripper Alyssa, Scott D. Serino, Langley, Seth Stardex, Andrew Waddle, Kinetic Socks, William Efting, Tyler, Carrion Storm, Shiny Sock, 187 and my top boys Magos Nemeris and Xylax as well as everybody else who has helped me out over in the Patreon or in the Super Chats or even just by watching and uh, yeah thank you again for watching all the way to the end have a very lovely 2021 hopefully better than last year and uh, most importantly penis <laughs>